Hey everyone, it is time for Happy Healthy Meals with Risa Auger and Holly. And uh, I just want to say welcome to episode 57. We are going to talk about leftovers today because as you can tell, we are very festive today. It is almost Christmas and we have already been enjoying some holiday goodness. Oh, look, my jacket's being funky. Um, <laughs> some holiday goodness and already into leftovers <laughs> because we've been going to dinners and there's just so much food. And I don't know about you, but I hate throwing away food unless it's like gross. Especially ravioli. Especially ravioli. I know we are, she's on a ravioli kick right now. Um, but one of the things that makes holidays so special is those meals that you guys enjoy together. And I'm at a weird angle, so I'm going to sit on my feet here. Um, the meals that we all enjoy and the conversations we have while we're enjoying them. Hi. And just, we make so many memories and they happen to be around a table. And so sometimes I feel like when you eat leftovers, a, well, for one thing, they taste better because they've gotten to like sit in their juices and their seasonings. And I don't know what that is, but it's like Except amazing. Macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese sometimes is weird the next day. That's true. And pizza you have to put in the oven. Yeah. Or I have a friend who pan fries it. So if he's listening, I'm mentioning you, dude. He pan fries his pizza to re to like rewarm it up. It's really funny. Um, I have friends who put it in the air fryer, which is kind of like putting it in the toaster oven. Um, so those are really good ideas. Um, I wasn't going to talk about that specifically, but yeah. Um, macaroni and cheese, definitely hard to warm up. You kind of have to be careful about it, but that's okay. Totally worth it. Um, and there are ways to make it really great again. Um, but I just feel like when you get to enjoy those foods again, you get to remember the conversations you have and you get that warm ooey gooey feeling that you had at the party or at the gathering or whatever, wherever you had it. So, um, uh, I hope it's not that ooey gooey. Not that ooey gooey? That yeah, it's just, it. it's just that sometimes like the cheese separates. Yeah, but it like... It like come out really weird. It does sometimes come out really weird. So let's just talk about that. So tonight for dinner, we are going to, we, okay, so yesterday we had holiday meal number one and it wasn't technically holiday. It was uh, a I birthday, guess. but it means everybody, well, most of the people who will be at Christmas in a couple days um, were there. And we just had some really great conversations and there was so much food. Oh my gosh. A couple people were sick, so they ordered more than what needed to be ordered. And we got like a takeout box that's like, I don't know, this big. And if you are listening to this podcast, it's about like, I don't know, like eight by six. It's full. Like it is full of chicken and breadsticks and some tri-tip. So I'm going to take that chicken and I'm going to shred it and I'm going to add um, mashed avocado and pesto to it. And we're going to have grilled sandwiches tonight and it's going to be amazing. So um, grilled sandwiches and then I'm going to make a salad and a girlfriend is making some soup and we're just going to have some cozy comfort meals tonight and it's going to be hopefully really, really yummy. So, um, that is one thing that you can do with your leftovers is use it to make something totally different. Use them as a base to make something that kind of goes along with it. So the other thing that you can do with leftover chicken is like enchiladas. You can put it in the macaroni and cheese. Oh, um, I don't like that idea. And here's the thing about the mac and cheese. If you warm up everything else that you're going to put in it, like if you add tuna or shredded chicken or sh um, like ground turkey or something, it or bacon, bacon is great in mac and cheese. Seriously, it's great in mac and cheese. Too or hot dogs or whatever. whatever you're gonna put in your warmed up, your leftover mac and cheese. If you warm up the stuff and then put, um, mix in the cold mac and cheese, it warms up the mac and cheese and then everything kind of comes to the right temperature in your bowl like and can. then it doesn't do the weird separate cheese separate thing 
that happens when you put cheese in the microwave sometimes. Yes. Sometimes she does a macaroni and cheese first and then puts everything in and then it warms. That's when I do it, when I make it fresh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> when I make it fresh for her, because it's so hot on the stove, I'll throw frozen peas in and the frozen peas kind of come to the right temperature because the macaroni is so hot. So it's like the opposite of what you do with leftovers okay. when you're making it the first time. So that's really awesome. But I love recreating the leftovers as something different, but using it, so using it in a different way than it was maybe served. Um, hey, remember that it's backwards. I know. You're a silly girl. Yeah. If you are just listening, my daughter is trying to put some fun things on a whiteboard, but when you record, it, we can see ourselves, so it's recording backwards, so it looks backwards, so it's hard to see. Okay, so um, there's that. And I just really hope that you guys get some really awesome food. That I, you know, you're going to potlucks or somebody's cooking the whole meal, that you take something home and you get to enjoy it later because I love leftovers. I love leftovers. Um, I also kind of feel like, and I've probably talked about this before, if you watch that show Chopped, on, what is that, the Food Network? Yeah. On the Food Network. Um, you know how they pull out the basket and you never know what you're gonna get? Sometimes doing leftovers is kind of like your own version of Chopped. Like you just kind of pull some random stuff and you put it together and you get creative and you make something totally different from something that already existed, but it turns out really great. Um, so you don't need the basket, but leftovers are super fun sometimes. So uh, let's see, you can recreate it you can add something fresh to it, like when you add um, something to the mac and cheese, right? You can totally do that. I like to even do like, uh, when I take a salad somewhere, I don't dress it until I get there. So, and then I, I don't even dress it when I get there, I guess I should say. I like to um, put it out and then let other people put dressing on their plate. So that way you're getting as much dressing as you want. Um, and I try to bring like two different ones just in case. Um, so you can pick your dressing, but then you have that salad, it's pre-mixed and it's all ready to go. You can put whatever protein you want on it when you get home. And um, I also, like I make extra on purpose and I know that people are gonna eat because I know that it's going to make a super fast lunch for me the next day. <laughs> ah! um, I try to plan ahead like that and just do as little prep as I can, but make it serve as many times as I can. Um, so things like that are really easy to do. Um, sometimes you can combine leftovers when you're packing them and put them in single serves and then those make great lunches as you're going. Uh, so I will sometimes even bring like, I know at Christmas and Thanksgiving and like Easter, like all these things that have big, huge meals, right? Um, I will bring single serves and I will put my leftovers in the single serves and then those are lunches for the next week. The other thing that, um, we have done with leftovers is just literally freezing them. So specifically like to Christmas, um, my auntie, it's backwards. What does it say? Never oh, you're trying to write it backwards. You're so cute. She's trying to write it backwards. Okay. So specific not, to Christmas. Then how is it backwards on there if I wrote it? If you write it backwards on your board, it should be straight on the thing, but I didn't read it on the, on the screen. So you gotta try it again. You can't write each letter backwards. You have to write the whole word backwards too. Oh, try again because you didn't leave it on there long enough. You erased it, silly. So specific to Christmas, my auntie makes tamales and I've never made them. I've never made tamales. I get invited every year to make them, but we are blessed with a large family. And so we have Christmases for like three days. And so we don't ever get to go make the tamales. Um, but my auntie always calls and says, what do you want? And I always say, make them extra spicy, extra meat, uh, easy on the masa. And that's just how, see that says no, good job. Uh, that's just how I like them. It's kind of, yeah, that's true, it also says on. It's kind of like, um, I've talked about this, how I really like thin crust pizza because then you can taste the toppings and the pizza is kind of like a vehicle to get it in your mouth. So for me, the masa is just a vehicle to get it in your mouth. And I like as little masa as possible and lots of um, stuffing of it. And extra, so we order them extra stuffing, extra olives, 
extra spicy. And so there is a whole like set that is just for me and my husband because we're the ones who like it extra spicy. And then we even add hot sauce because, woo, good job. That says boo. Uh, we're now practicing writing backwards uh, for everyone who is on the podcast and not the video cast. Um, so because of that, and because I know they're coming, I plan ahead. And when I do, when I remember, uh, the years that I am responsible, I, um, bring sandwich bags to take home leftovers. And so I put two tamales in each sandwich bag and then I get home and I throw them in the freezer. And then I know that for lunches, I, and, or for dinners or whatever, I can just pull out one baggie and two tamales is generally one serving for us each and I can just pull out those servings. And since you steam tamales, they do really well in the microwave. And I just throw a wet paper towel around them and I steam them back to their goodness. And they are so good. And then we have tamales for like three months and it's amazing. Um, there are great places to get tamales, but there is something about when my auntie makes them that just makes them a little more special because I know they were made just for us and they were made with super amounts of love. And, um, and they're super fresh. So that is it. That is specific, specific to Christmas, the tamales part, but there are tons of leftovers that you can totally freeze. Um, guacamole you could freeze. Did you know that? Yeah. You can totally freeze guacamole. Yes, you can. Uh, mashed potatoes you can freeze. Um, stuffing is awkward because it gets like this weird texture. So I would not freeze stuffing. Um, Rolls are hard to freeze, but you can because lots of bread is freezable and then you just need to put it in the toaster, not in the microwave because otherwise it gets gummy and gross. Um, meat, any meat you can freeze. I like to chop it into smaller pieces before you freeze it because then it will warm back up better and you don't, it doesn't get as tough when you warm it back up because you're really cooking it again. Um, so things like, uh, oh, I try to cut them really thin and then um, I bring them back to room temperature. And then I even, um, I don't even put them in the oven. A lot of times I'll pan sear them because then they come crunchy and they're really good in sandwiches like that. Like they have this extra texture that, um, comes with it. And those are really good. Um, and let's see what else. Yeah. I really like shredding the meat. If you've served it, if it's been served like, um, on the bone, you shred it and you use it in a bunch of different things. Um, chicken salad sandwiches, enchiladas, like I said, in pastas, um, on like a green salad as a topping. You can even make like cakes with it, like chicken cakes instead of crab cakes, right? You can do that. Um, lots of different things that you can do with things. Oh, taco filling. Darisa, I love tacos. Anything, just about anything can become tacos. Like those, that tri-tip that we have from yesterday. Pretty sure my husband's going to make tacos for lunch one day this week. Uh, so that's going to be really great. But yeah, I am super looking forward to night to shredding the chicken, adding in the pesto and the um, avocado, and then mashing it all up, putting it in my panini maker. I think I'm going to use the panini maker and just grilling up some sandwiches and they're going to be really good. Um, on the bread, I am going to use um, some herbed butter. Usually I just use regular butter or... Um, spray of olive oil, but tonight I'm going to use the herbed butter, um, just cause it goes really well with the, the chicken and how it's already seasoned. Uh, so that's really great. Some other things that I am making this week. Let's see. So Christmas is on Wednesday. So tomorrow I am going to make a harvest egg bake, um, and a side of squash with that. Um, I'm going to chop up the squash and into cubes and um, put that all together, I think. I might figure out how to serve the egg bake inside of the squash, so then it's like a... Oh, your pee is still backwards. I don't care. <laughs> that totally works. Like it said, eat, taste, heat, eat again. You're so cute, high five. Good job, sweetie. All right, so um, having an assistant is really awesome. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, so I might stuff the squashes and then put a fried egg on top. Haven't decided that. Uh, check out my social media, see what happens with that. Let's see, what else am I making? Um, oh, my butcher box finally came, you guys. Finally. Oh, good, the P is right now. Sorry. I think the S is backwards now. Oh, no, the S is right. Huh, looks good, sweetie. Yeah. Good job. 
Um, my butcher box finally came, so we now have wings again. I'm very excited. So I've been craving wings. Yay, wings! Um, and also, Costco finally had their cauliflower tots back in stock this week. So we have a bag of those. So we're gonna have wings, tots, and some broccoli. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, I bought a head of broccoli and I'm gonna slice it and then roast it um, in big chunks. So it's almost like French fry for you or like you pick it up with your fingers, but not dip it in ketchup because that would be gross. Um, but the tots are really good and the wings I'm gonna do um, like a garlic parmesan because that's what she likes. Uh, yeah. And then we can dip it in like hot sauce. I like parmesan because she like puts it on and then it like all melts and it doesn't even taste like it has cheese on it. Ooh. And then I put parmesan. Yeah, I, it's true. It's true. Um, and then for Christmas Eve, we are going to um, get together with one of our families. We have lots of families, lots of groups of families. Um, I am making an app, the apple Papa okay. Side, side. I am making Daddy the side. apple cranberry crumble dessert that I busted my finger on at Thanksgiving. Yes, yes, she did. But I was gifted a brand new knife and my finger is mostly healed. It's just kind of peely and looks gross right now, but it's almost normal. And um, I promise, I promise to be safe. I promise to not um, slice off another finger. So we are making it again um, because it was asked for. Yeah, good times. Um, that is my only contribution to that. Oh, uh, we are having two Christmases. So one is lunch and one is dinner. And at the lunch one, I am bringing salad and veggies. And so I'm just gonna make a green salad and keep it really simple because I know all the other dishes are gonna be a little complicated. So my green salad is really just um, some greens, um, a cucumber, some tomatoes. They really like the simple salad and I really like making it. It's so easy. Um, comes together really quick. So, um, and it complements everything. So it's just this burst of freshness on your plate with the heavy holiday style um, items next to it. So the vegetable dish that I am bringing is going to be roasted carrots, um, like a, a roasted veggie medley. So it's going to be carrots, Brussels sprouts, and um, parsnips. And then I'm going to top that with a little bit of parsley. And I'm going to... Um, crumble oh I'm adding chestnuts to that to give it some holiday warm and then um what does that say it says subscribe subscribe you're missing an r sweet girl it's okay I care spell it right so um yeah so sorry carrots chestnuts brussels sprouts and um parsnips and I chopped them all yeah, into like one you. inch or so pieces and then thank you, click the button. But there's no button, sweet girl. No, I need to do it. To sub oh, subscribe. That's true, there is. And, that and the like it button. And mm -hmm. on iTunes, you can subscribe to the, the feed too. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, good idea. Yeah. If you're learning, she's learning subscribe. I like that. Um. Anyway, so I'm just gonna use um, really allspice. And um, I'm gonna add a little bit of extra cloves to that because it really warms it up. Um, and then I'm going to serve it with feta because Roger, my husband's family loves feta and we can put that on top. The other thing I was thinking about was doing goat cheese. Um, Trader Joe's had this goat cheese that has figs on it. I think that might be too rich for this dish. So I'm gonna go with feta. Um, let's see. So the next day when we are like rolling around feeling bleh because we've eaten too much the, next, the day before, um, I'm just making some, I'm warming up some ravioli that was pre-done from Yay! Trader Joe's. <laughs> Yay! Um, and I'm going to do eggplant parm as our veggie okay. on the side and a green salad. And we're just going to uh, make it kind of small. <laughs> but... Uh, this one wanted to try some chicken in her raviolis. She usually likes the veggie ones, but so I got it's one package of veggie good. and one package of chicken. We'll see how it goes. Um, and we'll, yeah, we'll, so we'll see which one she likes better. I really like them. Either way, it doesn't really matter. I just love ravioli. Uh, and then the next day, Friday, 
Um, hubby will be gone at a football game, yay. and so it's just the girls. Double yay. Double yay, because it's girls' night, and so there will be some homework on the TV or Gilmore Girls or something. We watched a lot of Gilmore Girls yesterday while we were addressing Christmas cards and, and bracelets. And we were making bracelets and I painted my nails. Oh, she made this bracelet. If you can see this, I'll get really close. See? It has a little star on it for Christmas. And um, so I'm really not sure what I'm going to make. I really think that I'm going to use all of the leftover veggies that I get from whatever we're going to. And then I'm going to make some rice because she loves rice. And then um, I'm either going to do salmon or um, some grilled shrimp over that. And so rice, veggies, and shrimp are some sort of protein, probably salmon or shrimp because I'm going to be craving seafood by then. We shall see how that goes. Um, but that's our week and that's how we'll be using our leftovers. So I hope that you will be using yours leftovers. in a fantastic way. Yay, leftovers. And I just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, we hope that you get to gather with your loved ones and have an amazing meal that's totally delicious and keeps your tummies happy and healthy. So say bye-bye. Well done. We're going to say bye-bye. Say thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Check out our social media to see how the meals actually come out. That's at creative.fit.hungry on Facebook and Instagram. Or send me an email to get more info on any of this. It's resaauger at ymail.com. See you next time. Bye. bye. bye.